Hi guys, Quinn from Micrographics Durban here, application engineer. I'm going to show you a quick little plant tip that I've picked up that's going to hopefully make you guys' lives a little bit easier. Now, um, in plant, there was a variable that was kind of added in, and I think it was 2018.1.1 update, which allows us to basically uh, copy the line information across with if we were copying lines. Now, normally in default behavior with our um, plant copying of lines, it actually dumps the information in the line. So meaning that if I were to select any of these lines, add selection, connect at line number, and I were to copy it across, you'll notice that it says unassigned by the line tag. If I take a look at my original, my line tag is set to 1000. If I were to go though, and I were to turn the specific variable on, it would actually copy that through. And this variable is, you just type in plant. If you've got your dynamic input on, this should pop up and make your life a lot easier. And you can see copy line number. If I said a copy line number, it's going to ask me, okay, enter the new variable value. At the moment, it's set to off. This is its default behavior. I'm going to set it to on. Now, when I hit copy, and okay, I'm just going to copy a section of that line off. If I select this off and I take a look, you'll see it is line 1000 now. That was just a piece of the line that it makes sense of. Okay, so now that I've got this variable enabled, how does this actually help me? You may be wondering. I mean, you don't, you because at first glance this seems very dangerous because now what uh, we've done is we basically enabled the ability of having multiple lines with the same line number. Which yes, it can be dangerous if used inappropriately. Um, normally though your verification and that will kick up issues because hey you can't have the suit to the same line numbers but sometimes you do want to do this because consider something like this pump set that I've got over here right if I were to just quickly grab I'm just gonna quickly grab these add selection connected line number and I would just select these two just using my plinty as a base and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete these sections off okay now that I've got these sections here and you may be also wondering why I've deleted these over here off but that will become apparent shortly um, now Let's say I've been drawing my system up to make my life a bit easier. Instead of drawing the one section and then the other section, so the right hand pump and then the left hand pump, and then doing all of the um, things like the piping, reducers, reducer out, the check valve, butterfly, etc. Instead of redoing this all again, I can now, because I've got that variable on, I can now copy this information across meaning it's going to keep all this line data because in this case, it's going to be the same. Sometimes you do want them to be different, but in this case, I want them to be the same. So what I'm going to do is select my first line, my second line, add everything to the selection. So that's everything I want to mirror and I'm going to use my mirror command. So from that point to that point, no, I do not want to erase my source object. Now, how's this for cool? So now we've got a mirrored copy. And we just have to root our pipes together. So this now also makes it very nice and symmetrical. Everything looks neat and organized. Our distances and everything will be the same. And if we take a look at our piping, hey, how do you know? Well, our piping has remained the same copied all of the data across with one shot. Of course, you are going to have the issue in this case that you've got line number 1100 and like pump that so you are going to have to change like, you know, valves and that type of stuff. But still, at least your main things like your 
lines, etc., will already be routed. Um, like I said, you're just going to have to use it with a bit of caution and be careful of how you're using it, but otherwise, it should be useful. Thanks, guys. Hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day. Cheers, eh? Bye.